Welcome to my channel, Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Zidane. I've been using Excel for more than a decade in my professional line of work. And for the last couple of years, I've been helping my colleagues and also people online improve their Excel capabilities and harness its full potential to you know, better and improve their, their chores, actually. In today's video, I want to share with you a very easy and nice setup for building your own dynamic calendar with just changing two inputs. The first one is the first day that you want to see, and the next is the number of rows per day. So as you can see right now, it's set up to start on the 19th of December, and five rows per day. I can change that, and when I'll change that, you will see that it will start on the right day of the month. So let's start it on the first day day of 2022. So it starts at Saturday and I now I'll change it to three. So there's only three rows. I can change it to one. I can change it to ten. The number of rows is supposed to uh, help you understand or help you build whatever data you want to key in. Maybe you want some schedule times. Maybe you want to add some names. So this could help you understand how many lines you want. So that's the, the, the usage of this. And, and of course, you have the, the name itself that gives you the first date and the last date over here. So you can see I dragged uh, these formulas all the way to row 235. That's why it's showing you when does this calendar end. And I want to show you how I built it very easily. Let me just unhide all of the, uh, you know, uh, let's say formulas. Okay. So... On the start, we have this. This is supposed to show you the day of the week, with the exception of Sunday when I'm using 8. Okay? And um, I'm using this especially for the first line to show an empty cell or show the date itself. So how is that done? Basically using ifs with three options. If this number is less than this number, which is the week of the day, the day, sorry, the day of the week, <laughs> then don't show anything. If it's equal, show the date of the month. And if it's greater, okay, just add one to the day on the left. So, if, for example, all of these, two through six, are less than seven, so they're blank. Seven equals seven, so I'm showing the date. And eight is greater than seven, so I'm showing plus one. Why eight? Because I just noticed that if I select uh, just, you know, the way I built the formula, it's easier for me to mimic. I'm mimicking one, if it's Sunday, to be eight, just so the formula rolls, rolls out very easily for me. That's part one. That's the, the first line. The second line, or the, the first column, is where um, basically I'm asking... Um, if this, which is the index of the number of rows, if it's equal zero. Zero for me, it means I need to, you know, add another line of dates. So if it's zero, so this is just for the first column, I'm going to look for the maximum value, okay, and add one. Very simple, right? If, the, if it's not zero, then show a blank. For these, since I know there's got to be, uh, there's got to be a Monday, right? <laughs> so... I'm just going to add uh, a one digit, one, sorry, if, again, this column is zero, otherwise blank. So that's very simple. This is the same formula. So basically, there's three formulas. This one has the ifs, this one has the max, and this one has the plus one. Okay? I'll just show you this one. This is also very simple. All I'm doing, I'm asking, is the number above equal to the maximum number of rows? If it is, then restart. And put zero. Otherwise, add one. So you see, if it's two, so it's zero, one, two, zero, one, two. If it's five, so it's one through five, one through five. That that's how you can dynamically, very easily change the other cells. Um, that was this one. The last part is here just for the text. So in the text, I have a free text. I have a calendar. And with this uh, sign, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, 
I'm adding L2 and L5. Why I'm not adding the, uh, the, the date itself? Because when you do that, let's say something like that, you just get gibberish, it gives you the number. So what you need to do, a very simple trick, just have another helping cell that does this month plus, you know, some sort of sign, plus the day, plus the year, then you have a text. Okay, for the last day, I'm taking the maximum value over here, okay, and doing the same trick, and then I'm just grouping them together. Right now, of course, you can just if you need more days or less days, you can just drag. Make sure you drag. Uh, sorry. Make sure you drag with the column A, right? Otherwise, it won't work. So you can just continue to drag as long as you want, and it will work for you. And um, yeah, that's about it. This is how you can really easily create a dynamic calendar for yourself. And, and by the way, this is supposed to be some sort of master file for yourself. So let's assume this is the calendar you want. You can just create a copy over here and call it uh, calendar one. And you can actually just input whatever data you want. Data 8 through 8.30, I don't know. Gym. Uh, 8.30 test. Gym. Build data, I don't know, things like that. Of course, you could also just uh, you can re remove the, the all the formulas with uh, just copy paste by value if you want. It's also an option if you're concerned that someone may change it because even if you have these, if you start changing these, this will this will not work properly since you start keying in some information. So actually, the best way I think would be to just go over here and you know, copy. And have yourself a paste my value on the, and that's when you know that you have no problems, and you can just key in whatever you want. Of course, you won't be able to change the rows now. Okay, it's just going to change the format because there's conditional format. Oh, that's right. I just want to show you also there's conditional formatting over here if you want to just take a quick look. So again, very simple. I'm using a formula to determine which cells. And again, using the index of if A4 is equal zero, meaning it's a fresh, fresh row of dates, give it a one or a zero. That means if it's one, if it's true or false, and if it's true, I'm just going to format it with an outline and with a bold. That's why you see those lines in that way. So yeah, so you may want to not change that or. Um, yeah, so this is it. Let me know what you think. If you want the uh, template, just leave a comment and I'll send it right over.